military admits they're already in a war with the U.S. Uh, they've got the media and everybody basically. It's China. China's the main engine. It's, it's, it was the plan. The CFR said it was the Chinese century. Well, it's not the Chinese century. It's the globalist communist uh, century feeding off the poor Chinese to empower their whole operation. Because Americans, on average, are intuitive and smart and hardworking. But the Chinese are intuitive, smart, and hardworking as well. But they're enslaved. So it is uh, definitely a power slave scenario. I want to go to Antoine, Robert, Dennis, Robert, Patrick, George, Alexander, Craig, Tony, Brandon, Eric, and others. Eric in Michigan. Eric in the great state of Michigan. You are back on the air calling in on the show. Welcome. Go ahead. You on the air, Eric. Go ahead. Brainwashed zombies. Go ahead and start over. They didn't get to you right away. Or I went to the end of the call, so they missed it. Let's just start over. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, I just wanted to kind of touch base on uh, when you brought up, you know, to call in as a first-time caller. You were going on about Hillary and how she's going to try to possibly run for 2020 and sending out emails and to her supporters and followers. And yeah. I think it's absolutely ludicrous. I mean, we all know she's crooked as. You know, she's more crooked than anybody's front tooth I've ever seen. and She's crooked you know, than a uh, dog's back leg. <laughs> you know it. Uh, you know, but uh, anyway, you know, so we'll see. You'll see, you know, we'll see how that plays out. I mean, if she does, it's, it's going to be a... Well, the thing failure. is, she's definitely I mean, raising money for it. She says, she's telling her constituents, get ready. That It shows the arrogance, though. Like, it just shows how disconnected from history they are. And, and 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 the crazy thing is, she has she doesn't give a damn about the people or, or any excuse my French or, or anything you know that has to do with America or the constituents that live in this country or even the people that vote for her. I mean, at the end of the day, they're just thrown to the wolves. You know, she's in office, so you know I'm thankful to to be in Trump's America. I'm I'm glad we were able to pull it off. And you know, no, I, I agree. And, I agree with you. But I've got an article here out of the Oregon Live. Organizers of pro-gun rallies lament low turnout, and that's what's happening. A lot of patriots, conservative Christians, pro-gunners think we're winning. Yes, we're in a war. We won some battles. And I don't want to use the North versus South analogy, but it's kind of like the South winning battles early on. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The, the globalists are coming down like a ton of bricks, brother. And so I'm just telling people that we woke up the enemy. And I think we will win. But if people don't get that, we're in the fight of our lives. Getting Trump elected was like landing at Normandy. When we landed at Normandy, you know, in 1943, did that mean we beat Hitler? No, no. Lots of gunshed still at that point. But, you know, it's an uphill battle, uh, you know, and I'm willing to fight it every step of the way. I think we really need to come together. You no, know, I agree with course. you. What do you think of the 133 attacks the last week or so and all these attacks on conservatives? I mean, uh, physical attacks, trying to kill people. I mean, the left is clearly launching an intimidation campaign. I think it's going to backfire. It's totally going to backfire. I can't recall her name, but the lady uh, uh, that's, that was part of Trump's cabinet that was at that restaurant up in Virginia that got kicked out uh, the other week. Um, you know, How could be it, Sanders? It, right, and, and Maxine Waters is totally stirring the pot you know, on that side of the stick, you know, telling them, oh, shut them out of restaurants, out of gas stations, this, that, the other. You know, How do they think that makes somebody give up on their political views? Most people are just busy, but if you, like, try to kick me out of a restaurant that everybody I know that makes them get angry. Right. Right. It's gonna, and, and, and I don't care if it's my favorite Philly cheesesteak restaurant on the planet. If, if, if they're going to kick me out for my you know right of opinion, I'm not going to support them anymore. So chances are they're going to go out of business. So honestly, well, that's, well, that's the point, Eric, thing. is it doesn't make you give up your political views. It doesn't make you back down. It emboldens you. So they think we're like them, a bunch of peer pressure wimps. God bless you. Okay. I went to the bottom of the calls. That may have confused the folks clicking the calls because I could punch my own buttons, but I have them doing it in there. So we're going to go to another call. Uh, who should we go to here? Who should we go to next? Um, hmm. Let's talk to Brandon in Texas. He says he wants to talk about my predictions and end game. Brandon, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Oh, thank you, Alex. Um, yeah, I'm a long, long time listener, uh, first time caller. Welcome. And can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you really good. 
Okay, great. Well, I went to Crockett High School in the early 90s, man. I just, I want everybody that's listening to you to know that you have been calling it out, calling it out since day one. Your motives have never shifted. You're like a, you're like Ron Paul. You're like a rock, right? Now that's integrity. You're a real man. And and, and that's not a cool thing these days. I get that. But, you know, you red pilled me way back with uh, Endgame, a blueprint for global enslavement. And when I say red pill, I mean pregnalone, brother. You put me down for like seven days. I was, I was almost straight up depressed, right? But, but I researched all the history in that movie. You're, well, you're on point. Everything that's unfolded in this day-to-day bullshit. I'm not a political person, but I have become a political person because every, on, this, these things are unfolding day by day. Just like We're going to let you go, but I appreciate your call. We can't have cussing because we got to delay it once. You cuss again, we got to let you go. But that's the thing is I'm not that smart. The globalists have all written their battle plans. They're carrying them out. They're anti-human. We need to be aware of it. And then you need to make a decision which side you're on. Let's go to a caller in Illinois. Let's go to Antoine in Illinois. Antoine, thanks for calling. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. How are you? This is Antoine in Illinois. Uh, how are you, brother? How are you doing? I'm good, man. Good to talk to you. It is such a pleasure to finally connect with you, my friend. Uh, I would just want to start off by telling you I am so proud of what you and your organization have done. Years ago, when I was a college student at Northern Illinois University, some colleagues of mine, we did the same thing you did on the college level uh, in the late 80s and the early 90s. And I wanted to know if you were familiar with a mentor of mine by the name of Stephen Coakley. He was a political activist, uh, African-American from the Chicagoland area. Um, He was well-renowned for teaching about the Illuminati, the Boule, FEMA, uh, Rose Rockstyle, uh, the whole nine What was his name again? Uh, His name is Stephen Coakley. Now, he's passed on now. But his the, name. The, 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 I mean, I mean, the name seems familiar. For people who know about the Boule, that's the that's the African American version of the Masons that they then kind of try to use to control people, right? That's exactly right. Uh, Stephen Cokey was very known for that uh, on the grassroots level. Very popular. Uh, again, he was my mentor along with I know you. I know you're pretty good friends with Brother Minister Louis Farrakhan. But I just wanted to see if you were familiar with him because. He was doing this before. That was a Facebook, YouTube. Yes, no, I, mean, I, I remember the name. And, and, and as for Louis Farrakhan, he's a great uh, brain, very, very smart person. And the media kind of takes out of context what he says. But I, I want to have peace. I want everybody to do great. And, and I think that Farrakhan does understand uh, the larger picture. And I know he's been involved with Kanye West behind the scenes, the rest of it. I know Farrakhan told me point blank. And I said, is this off record? He said, no. But he didn't say it on camera that he was uh, he liked Trump. Uh, and I know he's been kind of back and forth trying to get his constituents to understand what's happening. But uh, I think with his message saying Trump is destroying all our enemies a month ago, do you think people in the Nation of Islam got how far Farrakhan's going trying to warn them of the battle we're in right now? Um, I do. I think it's going to take more teaching about that. One of the reasons why I, uh, I was really glad to see Trump run for office because he broke, he was trying to break the stranglehold that many of the politicians have had on uh, this country for years, and, and including him. Well, exactly. Trump is very, not simple in the word simple, but very straightforward. He wants prosperity for everybody. He, he does not look, he looks who a person is. Like Martin Luther King said, like not the color of the skin, who they are. And Farrakhan looks right at me and, and you know, said, no, I, I think Trump overall is going to shake the system up, is going to win. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalists. InfoWars Prime. Where you can watch live, high-definition feeds of The Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind-the-scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. 
today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. If you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.